to fish this bank, you need to have permission from the landowner officially. A lot, I think he has said just make a donation of five pounds or, or more. This time I'm taking no prisoners. I want to know what's going on. So I've popped down to Premier Angling, bought myself a much bigger net, and I've brought down a carp rod that hasn't seen light of day for God knows how long. And I'm going to fish an inline lead and a short rig. Because the way I'm looking at it is that there's hardly any flow here. The downside to a short um, hook length is that the fish might bump into my main line because the angle of the line's coming down into the water. The short rig might have a better bolt effect. So it's a bit of a trade-off, but that's what I'm gonna do. A nice big heavy pair lead that's in line, semi-fixed, so the swivel is pushed in, comes out easily enough. Funny how the game plan ch uh, changes, isn't it? I had a couple of chub on my last session, which was my target species, and I was over the moon. Um, but there was that fish in between the two chub that just tore off and I couldn't stop in the hook port. So uh, everything organised, the net is down to the left, ready to sort out to try and push it through any um, trees and brambles. Yeah, this experiment might go completely wrong, but I've invented another game, mate. Eh? Okay, see that? So if that rod tip to tap like that, they've got to move that lead, which is three and a half ounces, I think. Camera off, I guess, it's getting dark. I've just had a call from Tom to say he's had a, a fish. Yep, classic three foot twitch. So no missing that bite. That's on a, a long running rig, was it, or? Yeah. Well done, mate, that's wicked. I'm well envious, but at the same time, extremely chuffed. <laughs> Cracking little fish, my first Bristol Avon barbel for about oh, nine years maybe. He's been resting in the net, so he's a little bit lively. Bit lively, is he? Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, little nibble in the fin. You're right. Yeah. That is wicked. I'm oh, well pleased here, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Get in. Fantastic. Well done, yes. mate. <laughs> <laughs> On the boilie or pellet? Boilie. <laughs> Stay till midnight. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But yeah. <laughs> All right, nice one. Brilliant, thanks very Cheers, much. Cheers, Tom. Yeah. Well done. Tom's caught more than his fair share of barbel on uh, the Bristolaven, and in fact, he put me onto my first, what I call proper barbel, uh, blowing over, over a decade now. Yeah, so he knows his stuff, and he very kindly left me his rig to have a quick look at. It's that long. He says he fishes longer. I think he used a slightly shorter rig because of the slower flow. He's braid all the way through. And he's got a much bigger hook than what I've been using for a start. He's got the bend in it by the sh with the heated shrink tube. And he's got the silicon on the shank to make sure that his boilie and bait doesn't roll around and mask the hook point. I did have my chance. Something picked up my bait and the lead, gave it a shake and uh, must be a reasonably big fish to pick up that lead and give my carp rod a, a good old shake and pull round. I missed it. Bolt rig? Nah. Don't want to be doing that again. So that's all food for thought. I think I've probably just got a bit complacent actually about rigs. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see what happens next time, eh? Well done, Tom. Great fish. <laughs>